dear Jesus Christ, as I write this 1925th note to you, my heart is filled with unwarranted anger and loathe towards you. You said you died for me, but why does it feel like you lied to me? And if indeed, if indeed you've truly died for me, then why does it feel like I'm the one who's dying inside every day? Jesus, I am dying inside. I think you lied. Dear Jesus Christ, I am desperately searching for your sweet breath, but my soul, my soul is hanging upside down in this cold cloud of clay. Jesus! Why? Why me? Why me of all people? I mean, the world has over 7.2 billion people. Why does it have to be me who has to suffer when every day, every day I am fighting from bone to dry with the skin of my teeth and my arsenals and bayonets trying to protect your sweet breath in this tiny little and ratchet heart of mine? Jesus! Dear, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, please tell me that I am waywardly cynical and that I should hang on to your word just a little bit longer because my heart, my heart is singing endless trenodies, but I know, I know that you are God and I want to have a little more patience in you. So you are God. Attested by and buried in the smiles and fronts of countless mouths, we travel in faith. Your divine works are alive and your love, your love is more. Your hands are more too. They're more than just life, the eternity carrying a myriad of amazing and wonderful things that speaketh heaven to all your children. So we promise you, we promise you that which is ours. We promise you ours in time and our timeless love in the form of Philippians chapter 2 wrapped in all ways we could ever save you as the begotten son and the lowest but greatest part of God's servants. You are God in flesh. Dear Jesus Christ, I think I see now for thine wisdom. Thine wisdom is more than just instant flesh in our eyes. It is the light of our days. It is the joy of fellowship in the book of First John chapter 1 that no rickety teaching can ever supersede. It is the strength that binds us. The poetry is seen in the books of Job, Psalms of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Tones of Solomon. The exhilarating and resurrecting music played in David's harp. It is the blood of the ultimate sacrifice. So we promise you We promise to feast and fix our eyes solely on you and to all things above while bathing in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 we promise not to be like King Lord's wife Jesus please teach us teach us how to be like Lazarus in the book of Luke 16 verse 22 and we promise you again that as we continue to traverse in this journey of faith we shall serve you like Apostle Paul and tenaciously walk in the eight books he wrote while shamelessly carrying on our backs 58 more books of life like the sons and daughters you redeemed with your blood your blood is eternity eternity immensely dipped in serenity to wash off all this profanity in our weary souls. Your teachings are life. They are profound. And nothing, nothing can ever compare. So as I write and conclude this note to you, I would like to say Now I see sincerely yours self at my lowest.